All right, Phil Johnson here from designsbyphil.com. Um, I figured out some really cool stuff here recently with new additions to uh, VCarve 10. Or I should say, uh, when you make the jump to VCarve 10 from VCarve 9.5. The biggest thing is clipping, okay? So, uh, or I should say, the thing I'm going to show you right now is clipping. Uh, really cool feature. But there's some hidden gems or f features that you can use clipping to do that uh, hasn't been talked about yet that I just discovered today. Um, so first off, if we take a look at this sign here, this is the one that comes free with the, uh, uh, what is it, the Magical Garden, okay, uh, from Design and Make. If we uh, take a look at what I got here, we're going to ignore some other stuff, uh, some other layers. Uh, let me move the camera over here. So we're going to move, we're going to ignore the uh, top objects and we're going to ignore some of the other stuff. But right now I just have the fairy garden sign uh, on. Now there's this really cool carved texture that I got from Design and Make as part of one of the nature or the, uh, the wilderness uh, packages. If I turn on that uh, layer, you're going to see it's almost a scalloping effect. Okay. It's a really cool looking uh, effect for a background, really nice background. Uh, but also, but right now, I, so I have that one on add, combine mode add, which applies it over uh, any area. But we only want it for this background panel. We want the edges and everything else to be smooth. What you would do, okay is you'd make a vector that surrounds the area that you want and with that area or that vector collected or uh, selected right click on clipping and or right click on the uh, the layer and then you click on clipping and it will click that uh, to the vector you selected leaving everything else as it was before. Now, to add any other objects over this so that it doesn't uh, uh, just automatically add it with that texture on it, so if I were right now to add this leaf right in the middle, if you notice it's uh, embedded in there, even on this layer, okay, uh, it's putting that scalloping right over the top and maybe we don't want that. So what you'd actually have to do is have another layer above that with the combined mode merge. If you turn that on you can see I added a mushroom here on the left. Now this mushroom has not only base height, it's actually like a negative base height because of what I had to do, but it's base height, uh, but it's also at an angle so that the bottom of the mushroom, so it's tilted, the bottom of the mushroom is below the bottom of the frame, but the top of the mushroom stands proud of the frame. Okay, so we're going to turn that off for now. The coolest feature that I just thought of with this clipping, a lot of people like to add raised text to 3D models. And besides, if you you know if you have a spire, fine. The sky's the limit with a spire. But the with VCarve, really, unless you modeled it in another program and imported it, you couldn't have 3D raised text uh, in in here. But now with clipping, you can. So we're going to take this, and we're going to turn off the clipping, which releases it. Uh, once you set that clipping, even if you change the vector, it's not going to automatically apply. You have to uncheck clipping, select the, the vectors again, and then reclip it. Okay. So I don't know if you noticed that before, but I had some text here in my 2D tab. Okay. 
Um, this is just uh, like Arial Bold or something like that. It's uh, Arial Heavy. Uh, it's just really thick font. You can use any font. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to combine, we're going to use this along with the other vector um, to do the clipping. So when I go like this and select all that, and I go back in here, and I tell it to clip, it's going to do something awesome. It's going to clip around the text. It's going to leave that text stand nice and proud of the sign. So now, now really, uh, with this clipping, uh, we have some really cool things we can do. Uh, different shapes. We can embed different uh, depths to our 3D models that we couldn't before. Uh, now one thing that I'll notice, so before, if we turn off this and we just look at the sign, the surface that it's starting to clip is actually right, right here, okay? It's there, and it's actually the, uh, the texture itself. So if we look at the texture, I'd have to release the clipping, but if we just look at the texture, the texture is being applied right to the top surface of this. There's a few things we can do. Uh, one is what I did here. Let's turn this off, turn this off, and I have another, just a plaque that I added some height to, uh, to this. So if you notice what I did is I basically filled in that area with this other plaque, with a shape. You can do it with just a, anything. You could actually clip, you could, you could add some height and then clip to the, uh, another shape. So you'd have a whole nother layer that was a clipping layer. So I added the height there, and now, when I do my clipping, it's going to be way higher, that text, it's going to be way higher than what it was before. And you can control that by going into the properties here and putting a negative base height to that carved texture. So if we went negative 2, 5, You can see it's it's adding a lot of height to that. So we'll go back to what it was. Okay. So technically, let's see what happens. Uh, if we remove that. Okay, see, and this is what I wanted to show you. So if we remove the uh, plaque, what ends up happening is everything goes down, but the, 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 where the text starts is down to. And there's no way uh, to really raise the text and lower the, uh, the pattern, the carved pattern, the background pattern, without adding that plaque first. So it was a good thing we had that plaque. And then... Uh, here's the deal though. So now if you want anything to stand proud without getting combined with the scalloping look Okay, that has to go on its own top layer uh, uh, Layer uh, level so here we have the final text or the final sign here and we have a proud mushroom We have 3d font 3d text And we have a scallop background, all on a sign here. And we can do this all with just a 3D with a 3D roughing and 3D uh, ball in. I use a tapered ball in. But that's it. That's all you need. So the clipping, uh, the clipping function is very handy, and now we have the ability to make 3D text.